Welcome back, my fellow poets, to another Spooky Saturday video. To those of you who stumble across my content for the first time, I am your narrator, Paranormal Poet, and I narrate true paranormal scary stories who focuses more on atmosphere rather than visual aid to terrify you. So sit back, relax, and step into the world of the unknown. Every region of the world has their own myths and legends. Some of them range from Tuscawanta, the Algonquin princess who is known to drag one man every year to the watery depths to drown in her ongoing search for true love. Or the Midnight Game, where a group of friends willingly summon an entity by its nickname, the Midnight Man. But somehow, across all major regions, there is a common sighting, a woman in white. Commonly known as the White Ladies, they are apparitions mainly of a woman in a long white dress. Seeing one typically evokes a strong sense of fear and immense dread. Their white dress, usually associated with innocence and purity, is only on the surface. Deep down, there is trauma there, betrayal, accidental death, impending doom. These sightings happen when you least expect it. Some run away, some go outside to help out. But the question is, what would you do? Let me know in the comments your experiences with these apparitions. Let's begin. Hello, paranormal poet. My name is Joy, and I have a terrifying story for your audience. To start, I live in the Philippines, and lots of myths and legends stem from its grounds. We have the Duende, a tiny fae-like creature that is often playful, but has a mischievous side too. Or Aswang, a shape-shifting creature known to target those of strong belief in God. The name itself is an umbrella term for different kinds of beasts. That's for another story. This one took place at my grandma's house. The date was March 2020. I was 12 years old at the time this happened. It was fairly hot out, around 73 to 93 Fahrenheit around that time. We spent the day relaxing inside, having deep engaging conversations with my grandma, eating amazing decadent Filipino cuisine, and of course, singing karaoke. Never a dull moment with the family. There was always something to do when I was with them. When the sun fell below the horizon, I felt my body begin to get tired, as always. Most of us teenagers were on our phone, watching videos or playing games until they all began sleeping. This is when the nightmare began for me. As I lay in bed, dreaming away, suddenly I hear a woman outside pleading for help. <gasps> my heart began racing as wherever she was, it was on my grandma's property. I get out of bed and quietly creep down the stairs in an attempt to open the front door without it creaking. Once I stepped foot outside and made my way to the well in her front yard, that's when I saw her. A forlorn and deeply saddened woman lying beside the water well. Her hair was shoulder length and garnered a white dress, now dirtied by the moist soil she was on. I gasped as I didn't know what had happened to her to end up in such a state. She proceeds to ask me in a rough, softened voice, Help me. As a 12 year old at the time, I didn't know what to do. I stood there, hopeless. I told her, I'll go get my grandma. She could help you. To which she replies, it has to be you. I was incredibly shocked and didn't know what she needed, when suddenly I feel a feminine hand on my right shoulder. As I turn around to see who it is, I see a blurry figure directly behind me. That's when this figure shook me gently and they became clear. Turned out 
to be my auntie. She was looking at me so worried and confused. She takes me back inside and returns me to my room to sleep the rest of the night. When I wake up, she comes to me and asks, why were you outside at 3 a.m. last night? Hearing this made me realize I had sleptwalked. I tell her my dream and everything that happened and what I experienced, and she was speechless all the way through. It would turn out she herself had an experience like this too, years back. Whoever this woman in white was, her cry for help still plays in my head, even as I write this. That was truly a night to remember. If you enjoyed this video and love true paranormal stories in audio-only format, you are in the right place, because that's what I do here every Saturday at 9pm Pacific, with a live stream shortly afterwards. If this video gave you chills, comment down below what moment did it for you. Also be sure to like and share this out to friends who might enjoy this kind of story. I love you all, and this has been your neighborhood narrator, Paranormal Poet. 